Clown of the Dead. Fade in. Interior funeral parlor day. A small parlor filled with a crowd of various grieving clowns. Mimes, circus clowns, jesters, juggalos, a drag queen, etc. Bozo Jr., a younger clown and the son of Bozo, sits in the front pew. A band plays a solemn clown song. Bozo's coffin lays at the head of the room under a crucifix bearing clown Jesus. Next to the coffin rests a portrait of a smiling clown decorated with flowers. At a nearby podium, Father Chuckles, a clown dressed in the vestments of a priest, begins to give his sermon in a completely normal voice. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of Bozo, a great clown and a dear friend. To many, Bozo was... Father Chuckles trails off as we zone in on the back of the room. There sits a mysterious stranger, Clumpo, a grizzled clown dressed in dark trench coat and large-brimmed hat. He sits away from the other clowns. Clumpo lights a cigarette and takes a slow drag as he observes the sermon. Bozo would not want us to mourn him on this day, for he was a clown who spent his life filling others with joy. And so we should not weep, but smile as we remember the joy Bozo brought upon all of us. A hollow thud from Bozo's coffin. Faint scratching. Another thud. Father Chuckles pauses and turns. The crowd murmurs and cranes their necks from the edges of their seats. Father Chuckles leaves his podium and warily makes his way to the coffin. Thump, thump, thump. Father Chuckles reaches a shaky hand forward. The coffin's lid bursts open. Something shifts inside. Bozo Jr. stands up. Dad? My God! Bozo arises from the coffin, seemingly unaware of his surroundings, confused and slack-jawed. The skin under his makeup is purple and gray, his eyes milky white. He's seen better days. Bozo? Lord and clown heaven, it's a miracle! Father Chuckles offers his outstretched hand to Bozo, who lurches forward. Both clowns tumble to the floor, drawing gasps from the crowd. Clumpo stares on, far too stoic for the chaotic scene unfolding before him. There's no concern on his face. Father Chuckles and Bozo roll on the floor in an increasingly vigorous struggle. It's me, Bozo! It's Chuckles! Calm down, please! Bozo lunges for the kill, sinking his jaws deep into Father Chuckles' neck. Father Chuckles howls in pain as blood gushes from the wound and down his neck. The crowd stares on in silent horror. Bozo's gnarled teeth continue to rip into Father Chuckles' flesh. Clumpo slowly rises from his seat, the crowd fixated on the horror unfolding in front of them. Bozo moves his attention to Father Chuckles' abdomen, which he tears into with ease. Bozo pulls a gooey string of intestine from the belly of Father Chuckles. He pulls more and more until suddenly he reaches a colorful handkerchief, then another and another. The handkerchiefs don't stop coming. Cha-chink. Boom. Honk. Bozo's brains go splattering behind him in a blast of confetti. The coffin, portrait, and crucifix now dripping with the contents of Bozo's head. Clumpo stands unflinching before the corpses of Bozo and Father Chuckles, a smoking, candy-cane-striped, sawed-off, double-barreled shotgun in his hands. The room remains silent, save for the blood dripping from the walls. What did you do? The crowd snaps out of it, and the room descends into absolute chaos. Clowns scream left and right as they crawl over pews and each other to escape. The first clown to reach the back door barrels into it, only to find the inconceivable— more clown zombies push their way in, descending on the defenseless clowns trying to escape. The band breaks into a chaotic circus song. Several clowns attempt to mount defense. They wield balloon weapons, but are soon overtaken by the horde of fresh zombies bursting into the parlor. One clown throws a pie, but is jumped from behind. Blood shoots out of a flower pinned to his vest. The zombies reach the band. One bites into the tuba player's neck, causing a shower of blood to spurt out of his instrument, and ending the song with a drawn-out womp womp. Exterior, funeral parlor, parking lot, day. A rodeo clown manages to crawl out of the doors, unscathed, and into the parking lot. Tasting freedom, he sprints towards his clown car. The rodeo clown pulls a comically large key ring out of his pocket and frantically flips through keys. Finally, he finds it a satisfying chink as he unlocks the door. He looks back at the parlor one last time, but then, 
From within the clown car bursts an impossible number of zombies. They dogpile the lone clown, leaving only an outstretched hand twitching against the pavement. Interior Funeral Parlor Day Bozo Jr. fumbles backwards into the podium. Frantic screams echo as the last of the crowd succumbs to the zombie horde, the zombies ripping them limb by limb in a macabre feast of clown meat. Unknown to Bozo Jr., Father Chuckles' corpse begins to twist on the ground behind him. Father Chuckles stiffly rises to his feet, slack-jawed, the same hand once extended to help Bozo now reaches fervently towards Bozo Jr.'s unsuspecting flesh. Boom! Another blast of confetti. Bozo Jr. turns in horror as Clumpo grabs his collar. Come on, kid! We have to get moving! Clumpo drags Bozo Jr., stumbling into his supply closet, and slams the door. Interior, parlor, closet, day. The closet is filled with discarded boxes, helium balloons, and other rubbish lining the shelves and walls. Light trickles in through a boarded-up window. Clumpo mutters to himself as he paces the room, opening various boxes. Bozo Jr. leans against the wall and stares at his shaking hands. What were those things? I don't know, kid. They're all dead out there. They were eating each other. Looks like it, kid. Father Chuckles is gone. And my dad! Oh god, what are we gonna do? Clumpo stops moving and takes off his hat. He runs his hand through his messy hair, the one's vibrant colors faded with age. Look, I don't know, kid. Let me just... Let me just think for a minute, okay? Bozo Jr. clasps his hands, hoping to stop the trembling. Clumpo lights another cigarette. He takes a drag and pauses, scanning the room. The faint sounds of zombies can be heard outside the door. Something catches Clumpo's eye. He kicks a box over, revealing oxygen tanks. Clumpo grabs a whipped cream canister from a nearby shelf and shakes it, gauging the amount of cream in the canister with his ear. What are you doing? I'm making a bomb, kid. Clumpo pulls various wires out from his pocket and starts connecting the canisters to the helium balloons. A bomb? How do you know how to do that stuff? Me and your father were buddies back in the day. You could say we worked in the funeral business together. Funeral business? But my, my dad was a basketball coach. Look, we don't have time, kid. I need you to take Rusty. Clumpo hands his double-barreled shotgun to Bozo Jr. I don't know how to shoot this. Bozo Jr. tries to hand back the shotgun, but Clumpo pushes it into his chest. I need you to go through that window and make sure it's clear while I set the charges. You're crazy. What if there's more of them out there? That's what Rusty is for. Now go on, kid. No time to argue. Bozo Jr. hesitantly climbs a box and pushes the window open. He straddles the windowsill before turning back towards Clumpo. You'll be right behind me? Of course, kid. I'll meet you up the hill. Now get going. All that noise is probably drawing more of them. Exterior, funeral parlor, rear side, day. Bozo Jr. hops down from the window and looks around, pointing the shotgun shakily in every direction. With the coast clear, he sprints, low to the ground, away from the parlor. Interior, parlor, closet, day. Clumpo tapes together the last of the canisters. He admires his handiwork and looks up at the window. Good luck, kid. Clumpo turns the nozzle of the nearest oxygen tank. The gas starts leaking out with a hiss. He opens the closet door and steps out. Interior, funeral parlor, day. Clumpo steps out in front of the coffin. The zombies are mostly still, content with munching away at the remains of the funeral party. Another rides a tricycle in an aimless circle. Hey, you goons! I got some grub for you right here! The zombies perk up at the sound of a new meal. They stiffly rise and push their way towards Clumpo. That's it! All you can eat! Hurry it up already! Clumpo lights one cigarette and takes a long drag, savoring the taste. The zombies inch closer, closer. Clumpo smiles and exhales a nicotine-coated breath. He flicks a cigarette into the room behind him. Exterior, hill, sunset. Bozo Jr. climbs a grassy hill behind the funeral parlor, panting as he reaches the top. He looks back towards the parlor, the sky orange with the setting sun. A small flash from within the parlor. A clownish whistle, a roaring boom. The building explodes with fire and foam. Bozo Jr. looks at the smoldering wreckage, in shock for a moment. A smoking hat, Clumpos, floats down from the sky. Bozo Jr. looks at the hat, then down at the shotgun in his hand, stealing his jaw with new conviction. He snatches the hat, then notices a unicycle leaning against a nearby tree. 
He grabs the unicycle and mounts up. He turns to ride away, leaving the fire and everything he's ever loved behind. Fade to black. End.